Good morning students. We are learning water resource engineering and hydrology. We are discussing about runoff and hydrographic analysis where in previous lectures we have discussed about the different hydrographic analysis uh, that was like hydrograph, hydrographs, then uh, we have discussed about a unit hydrograph. Okay. Now on the basis of unit hydrograph as a concept of unit hydrograph one more graph can be plotted that is based on the unit hydrograph and that is the summation hydrograph so in this lecture we will discuss about this summation hydrograph okay so let's start the lecture well this summation hydrograph is also known as the s hydrograph so let's discuss about this s hydrograph well, uh, let's reconnect unit hydrograph with this S hydrograph. Well, the method of simple superposition can be applicable only when the other duration of time or other duration uh, is integral multiple of the available duration for the unit hydrograph okay now however many times it becomes necessary to generate a unit hydrograph of other durations which is actually not integral multiple of the available duration well in such cases it becomes necessary to evolve a general method that is based on the principle of superposition well uh, such a method is known as S hydrograph that is evolved by the hydrologists. Well, but a hydrograph which is generated by a continuous effective rainfall that is occurring at an uniform rate for an indefinite period. Well, uh, this graph is known as s hydrograph just because the shape of the hydrograph comes out like the alphabet s as you can see in this figure that the graph is in slightly s shape and that's why this summation hydrograph is also known as the s hydrograph well uh, from the data of rainfall and runoff process it is visualized that since the rainfall is occurring at a uniform rate okay the line of discharge is going continuously straight and this line is known as the point of equilibrium where here you can see at a point after that the line is steady okay so that is uh, saying that the uniform rate of rainfall or runoff wherein the discharge is constant after that okay so from the time of equilibrium the ordinate of the hydrograph that will equal to the rate of effective rainfall and thus the hydrograph curve traces a horizontal line that would be parallel to the x-axis well if the catchment area and the discharge represented by the s curve at the time of equilibrium then at that particular point the discharge that is q0 would be 2.78 a upon t0 so at the time of t0 if you want to find out the discharge you can find it with this particular formula well by following the unit hydrograph theory when the effective rainfall occurs at the uniform rate and continuously for the indefinite period the horizontal line can be divided into several equal durations yes with the convenient magnitude okay now in other words we can say uh, it gives a particular unit hydrograph duration as we have divided it in several equal part and that equal part let's uh, assumed as the one centimeter so that will give you the unit hydrograph durations now if 
the same unit hydrograph is plotted successively with the different different offsets that equal to the unit duration then the overlapping ordinates are summed up and if we join that ordinates we will get a exact s hydrograph from that data well it is necessary to know that how many times the unit hydrograph have to be successively plotted so as a thumb rule the unit hydrograph may be added t times with the offset that is equal to the unit duration of the hydrograph so that means if uh, you have asked about to plot uh, the s hydrograph uh, of 12 hours and you are given with the hydrograph of 3 hours so you may add or you may successively plot it the hydrographs four times three over three over three over and three over so that would be cleared four hour now if you have given with the four hour unit hydrograph and you have asked about 12 hours hydrograph by as a hydrograph matter then at that moment you can uh, successively add the unit hydrograph three times okay so that is exactly same okay now let's discuss that how we can use this as hydrograph well uh, in the derivation of unit hydrograph we have discussed that it is possible to derive the unit hydrograph of a desired duration from the known hydrograph of the other duration that is uh, somewhat t t times so the problem is simple when the unknown hydrograph duration is an integral multiple of the known hydrograph duration uh, let's an example um, a known unit hydrograph of two hour duration that can be easily used to compute the unit hydrograph of four hour okay that is by superimposing the known two hour unit hydrograph over another two hour unit hydrograph so that we can get the value of four hour unit hydrograph but the derivation of unit hydrograph of shorter duration that is the two hour unit hydrograph that has to be obtained from the four hour unit hydrograph that is quite not possible with the help of unit hydrograph and in such situation we can get the help of s hydrograph that is uh, computed based on the principle of superposition okay so we can firstly construct the s hydrograph and then we can uh, find out the previous hours unit hydrograph that is from the four hour unit hydrograph we can get the value of two hour unit hydrograph so it is possible only and only with s hydrograph method now let's discuss one example of s hydrograph okay the example is the following are the ordinates of four hour unit hydrograph and we have to determine the ordinates for the 12 hour unit hydrograph okay so this is the simple method that we have now four hour unit hydrograph and we have to plot the 12 hour unit hydrograph if in the question it is not mentioned that we have to perform this example for the s curve method then we can use the normal unit hydrograph method but if in case in example it is mentioned that we have to solve it by s curve method then but obviously we have to solve it by this procedure so let's first of all uh, see the ordinates of four hour unit hydrograph okay these are our available data that at initial stage the ordinates of unit hydrograph but obviously it would be zero the next step that we have to convert this unit hydrograph ordinates with the s curve that the summation curve ordinates so for that first of all we have to find the s curve additions for the s addition we have to legged by four hours so we just make sure that this data should be legged by four hours next this data can be obtained by having the has curve ordinates and that we can get simultaneously with this as curve additions well zero 
dash is equals to zero. So this zero will come over here. Okay. Same way, fifty plus zero that is equals to fifty. So this fifty value comes over here. Hundred plus fifteen that will be equals to one fifty. So the s coordinates would be one fifty. As it is come by the summation, that's why it's called as the s coordinates. Well, this one fifty comes over here. One one zero plus one fifty that equals to two sixty. Then two sixty will come over here. Then one forty plus two sixty. 400 400 will be here 90 plus 400 is equals to 490 then 490 comes over here same way 80 plus 490 that is equals to 570 that come over here then 40 plus 630 that is 670 that will be added at escow additions then the final answer is 690 and that is added over here now 690 plus 0 that is equals to 690 Okay, so now we got the value of S curve additions for the four-hour unit hydrograph. So here we have the ordinates of four-hour unit hydrograph. Also, now we are having the S curve ordinates for the four-hour hydrograph. Now we have to determine the ordinates for twelve-hour unit hydrograph. Now the S curve ordinates would be same for the throughout. n numbers of unit hydrograph okay so now we have to make it for the 12 hour so this ordinates will be laid by 12 hours so then the s curve is laid by 12 hours so 0 to 4 4 to 8 and then 8 to 12 so from the 12 hours it will start with the zero value so 0 then 50 One fifty, two sixty, four hundred, four ninety, five seventy, six thirty, and up to up to six ninety. Okay, so this is the S curve that is laid by twelve hours. Now we have to compute the ordinates for unit hydrograph, and for that we have one formula. We can say that is the ordinates of that n number of unit hydrograph. That is equals to delta y into capital T zero upon small t zero. Well, capital T zero is the nothing but the hour that is in the given data. That is the known values. So here we have the ordinates of four hour unit hydrograph. So capital T zero would be four hour, and small t zero that is the time in hour for which we need to. find out the ordinates and that is the 12 hour so delta y is equals to s coordinates minus the ordinates that is laid by the asked hour of unit hydrograph that is the 12 hour for this example so now the next step that we need to find out the value of delta y okay so Delta y that will be zero minus dash zero fifty and one fifty that would be same. Now two sixty minus zero two sixty four hundred minus fifty three fifty four ninety minus one fifty three forty five seventy minus two sixty that is three ten and up to up to last values. Now. as we have seen that we have discussed that at one point at the point of equilibrium after that the value would be constant now here you can see in this column of s coordinates in the last two phase we got the same value that is 690 so that is showing that this ordinates now after this particular hour that is the hour of 40 that is the 40 hour so after 40 hour the s curve ordinates would remain constant that is 690 690 so here at the value of delta y that is for the difference we have 690 value should be here and 690 would be here so 690 minus 670 would be 20 again 690 minus 690 that would be 0 Okay now the last 
that is the 12 hour of unit hydrograph here we have delta y the formula was delta y into t0 upon t0 where capital t0 is 4 and small t0 is 12 so now this all value will be divided by 3 so the ordinates for the 12 hour unit hydrograph would be 0 now 50 upon 3 that would be 16.16 .16. 150 divided by 3 that would be 50 and up to up to so on so this would be our final 12 hour unit hydrograph ordinate okay now this was the calculation now we have to plot this calculation on the graphical paper so we have to draw a graphical representation of this data so for that we need to get four different columns that is first ordinates of four hour unit hydrograph then s coordinates then s curve that is linked by 12 hour and the ordinates of 12 hour unit hydrograph here this two data is for the s hydrograph and this two data is for the unit hydrograph and now if we plot this value on the graph then the graph would be like this okay so here this is the graph starting from the zero so this would be the s hydrograph ordinates for the four hour then this is starting from the 12 so this s hydrograph would be of 12 hour here at the bottom side we can see both the unit hydrograph has to be plotted okay the maximum discharge that we got that was the 690 qmax so that is the peak value so this was the example with the s hydrograph or we can say the s curve method i hope students you understand this topic thoroughly thank you so much for your kind attention i will see you in the next lecture